here playing Farming Simulator 22, and welcome back to the Upper Mississippi River Valley. We're continuing on with harvest season here. We finished up the uh, corn here at last episode. Uh, again, if you watched the end of last episode, then we had like, was it one pass left to go or something like that, and then a pass of uh, shame almost, uh, six rows left. So we got that all finished. I uh, thought I had all the grain carts and trucks empty here, but I was just tabbing through my equipment as I was starting here, and like, wait a minute. I told the grain carts to go unload. Typical AI workers, they didn't listen. They still have a little bit of corn in them yet, so we'll have to take care of that here yet this episode. And then we're going to be moving on to uh, soybeans. First things first, though, I'm taking the uh, fent here over to field 43. We're going to start the uh, start the fent here on bailing that field here with course play. Uh, between episodes, well, actually, I guess it was the last episode, right? Got that field all raked up, so it shouldn't line up with a course play course here now. Shouldn't have to worry about doing that here for field 42 of them. Uh, what I will have to do, though, is I will have to load up the uh, two-up course play course I used, and I will probably have to run the baler on left, and then once he finishes that, I'll probably switch him over to right and run him on the right course. And Or the other option, too, is I could just like buy a second baler and a second tractor, I suppose. But given the money situation, I don't think that's going to happen here, at least this time around. So we'll just stick with one tractor, one baler. I'll just run the same course twice once on the left once on the right and speaking of running here let's get the course play course for this one set up here field 43 load that activate that it should be good first waypoint which i thought was right here guess not oh it's over there somewhere um you know what i will i'll line them up here a little bit better I gotta say again, the tractor just looks good with the triples on it, doesn't it, Evan? A little bit maybe uh, overkill and just a slight bit ridiculous here for this operation that we got going on, but... And your point would be? Okay, turn that on. And let's go grab a grain cart here. I'll take the big one, thank you. Yep. A little, uh, little dirty. Yeah, why he's not unloaded, I, mean, I don't know. He should have been. In fact, let's uh, see if we can go get this one here to unload. I do have one truck on the field here yet. There he goes. This one was uh, supposed to do the same thing as well, but, uh, yeah. Oh, he's closing the car. Okay. Now, goal is we need to make it to the truck here before course play gets there. No idea what course play's doing. I don't think we'll have a problem getting there before course play does. In fact, you know, I should probably head off a little more in this direction. I don't remember where the truck is. The truck is over by the trees there somewhere. Uh, the one truck was uh, completely empty, so I didn't bother taking that from the field. I was going to take it straight to the soybean field, but uh, like I said, seeing how we got corn here yet, we'll just go ahead and unload this. Ah, yes, there's the truck. I knew he was over by the trees here somewhere. Oh, and look at that. We can see the wee little fent off in the distance. They're bailing up the field. Cool. And, of course, we're going to be heading over to field 41 here, by the way. That is the new field we picked up here. Oh, this uh, was a couple episodes ago. Something like that. Just this uh, season here, everyone. Uh, so first time working that uh, field, it should be uh, mostly fertilized, limed, and all that good stuff. Uh, of course, uh, it has soybeans on it, so it doesn't really need fertilizer per se, but uh, lime and all that good stuff should be taken care of. Ooh, you know what I probably should do is I should probably go over there with a sprayer and just hit it with a sprayer real quick, see if we can bump up our uh, percentage there a little bit. Just uh, hitting that with the uh, sea and spray sprayer one will uh, usually bump up the percentage quite a bit. Uh, if you look at most of our fields here, you can see we're in the high, well, maybe I shouldn't say high 90s. Some of them are in the high 90s, a couple of them in the low 90s here, I guess. I'm not sure what the, uh, uh, what's the middle one again? Weed control. Oh, okay. Maybe I just need to go over to those fields with the sea and spray sprayer there again. Just, uh, yep, hit them with that. And that, again, will usually bump up the uh, percentage. Sometimes, Evan, you have to do the whole field, I've noticed. And other times you just like go to the field, turn the sprayer on, and you instantly get like a you know a twenty percent bump. I don't know why that is. Um, yeah, like I said, sometimes you have to like legitimately like spray the field. Uh, of course, with uh, the way I typically play here, I'm on, 
I usually have the weeds taken care of right away, so I don't have weeds on my fields. You know, just do them right away and you don't have to worry about weeds, right? But yeah, that doesn't particularly work well for the sea and spray, unfortunately. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's Why don't we have two on there? That's weird. No idea. We'll just uh, drive over to the field here. Oh, and then we need to go grab the header here yet as well. I wouldn't put this on auto drive, but seeing as how we're almost there. Well, or are we? Maybe not. You know what? Field 41. I'll just turn you on. Should be able to make the rest of the way there. And then let's go grab... Oh, before I forget two of them. Oh, I sent the truck down to the propane dealer here. Oh, you know what I can do? Hmm. Um, you folks may have noticed it here last episode. There was a little bit of liquid fertilizer here in this tank. It's like, crap, there's no way to unload it. I just realized, you know what I can do, though? Uh, is it this one? There should be an empty button, isn't there? No, I don't want to remove the vehicle. Empty, yes, there we go. Okay, so we lost a little bit of liquid fertilizer in there. Big deal. We're going to top this off on propane. I don't know if we're out of propane or not, but if not, we are probably really close. Apparently, I need to be a little bit closer, speaking of being close here. There we go. And then we'll tell you to go back to... Uh, grain dryer should probably be the best one there. Yep, I was like, really? Drive all the way down here. And it has liquid fertilizer in it. And to top it off, there's no way to unload this tank, from what I could tell. Uh, so yeah, outside of, like, uh, developer controls, I mean, I'm not sure how you would, like, legitimately unload this tank other than into maybe a sprayer, which... I don't know if there's room in the sprayer or not. There might have been, but... Wasn't about to, you know, drive all the way back to the farm to find out. Oh, you know what? I think we can actually drive out here, if I remember correctly. Forgot about that. There is actually two entrances here, or two entrances and exits here to this place. Oh, actually, no, well, yeah, that one's really not an entrance per se. Not for vehicles, anyway. Oh, not course, the wrong one. Auto drive. Oh, what course is open? Well, let's just close that there. And then we'll head back to our farmyard. Let's go grab our header here. Which, again, I'm always is wandering off and, in this case, fell off the trailer here as well. So, yep. Oh, well. At least I have it in a rigid mode here, so it's a little bit easier to pick up. Nope. Try to get down there in the right spot now. Is that going to work? Definitely not the greatest, but it's on there. That should at least get us to the field. And speaking of the field, by the way, we literally got to travel almost to the other side of the map here for this. This field 41 is all the way down this road. This road actually turns into a two-lane paved road here once we get past field 42 there. Or partially past field 42, I should say, maybe. Ooh, let's not hit the uh, wall there. That probably would cause us to fall off. Won't want that to happen. And hopefully in between episodes, seven, we could probably uh, finish up the harvest here on the uh, soybean field. And then we'll uh, probably come back here next episode. And we have three more soybean fields that need to be harvested here yet. Uh, again, all the wheat and oat fields we double cropped soybeans on. So see a field of soybean there. We just passed two others back there. We'll probably be fast forward time. I'm not sure if we got to go one or two more days yet. I'm not sure how that works with the double crop soybeans. But however long it takes. And then hopefully that uh, those fields will be ready to harvest. I'm guessing they'll probably be uh, ready at the end of 
whatever the harvest uh, period here is for soybeans. I'm not entirely sure. Where's our calendar here? There it is. Calendar for soybeans. Oh, whoa, we can have harvest all the way until January? Well, hopefully they're ready before January, because I don't know about you folks. I don't know if I want to be harvesting uh, soybeans in January here, but, I mean, I guess if that's what it takes. Normally, that's how it works. Like, if you plant your crop in the last month for planting, it'll be a lot of times ready in the last month for harvesting, or sometimes maybe the second to last. In this case, I would expect the double crops to be, uh, well, we are October already, aren't we? Hmm. Maybe November? Guess we'll find out, right? This is probably not the best spot to be hooking this header up. Yeah, well, we're going to take it. At least the game doesn't uh, mind too much. Also think I will uh, probably drive all the way down to the end over here. And I'm going to start over here. I uh, figured I'm probably just going to run the one combine here on this field, that one. Yes, it is a good size field. It is soybeans, though. Uh, again, soybeans are not as high of a yielding crop as other ones like corn. You know, corn, just, uh, yeah, a lot of yield there with corn, right? So let's uh, just go ahead and start over here. Let's fold that out. Header should be good. Well, I'll put it down in flex mode here. That is a mouse control, by the way, or, yeah, keyboard, whatever you want to control it with, I guess, technically, right? And I'm going to get this truck out of the way here a minute. Yeah, I can say the, all the equipment is looking pretty good lined up here, if you ask me. Stop the uh, tractor here. Pretty sure we'll have to unload it, at least at some point. I mean, I don't think we'll make it all the way around the outside edge of this field here. Uh, that's my plan, by the way. I'm probably going to do the outside edge of the field myself. And then maybe we'll set this on course play here. We'll see once. Again, if I want course play to unload the combine, unfortunately, I kind of have to put course play on the combine as well. Either that, I need to use auto drive, which, again, I don't really have. Well, not for a grain cart. I could use the truck. I could set the trucks up. I don't know if I'd really want to do that with the grain cart there, have the crane cart run off the field waypoint or not. That sounds like bad things might happen if you do that. Maybe not. Maybe they would work, but... Running the John Deere X9 1100 here again, by the way, with the John Deere HD 50F header. And this is the articulated mod here. Oh boy, we got rocks on the field. I think, doesn't that uh, increase the wear on the combine as well? I could be wrong on that, but I think it does. Another uh, advantage of using a uh, course play there, by the way. I think it's been a while since I mentioned this, so probably worth mentioning it here again. If you're maybe uh, newer to Farming Simulator, you always want to keep your combine somewhat repaired. And when I say somewhat, like above 70%. Once you start below, going below 70%, everyone, uh, or actually, I guess uh, the damage mod I have up in the corner, it's actually going to be 30%, I think, the way that one does it. Uh, depending on how you look at the numbers there, I think the game goes by 70%. The damage display up in the corner there counts from 0 to 100 the game counts from 100 down to 0 so either way uh, but yeah if you're going by that 30% or 70% depending on which way you're looking at it there uh, once you go below or above those numbers you will start losing yield from the combine and if you get all the way down I think was it 40% it's been a while since I've looked at the numbers I mean I think it's a massive 40% yield loss if I remember correctly so you know, again, I'm going to repair your combine. Another good reason to use course by course by will automatically repair it if it needs it. So again, repair your combine. <laughs> Don't forget to do that. And again, with the uh, rocks here, I'm not sure if that's going to affect that adversely. I'm not sure. To my uh, knowledge, with rocks like this in the field, uh, you should see an uh, increased amount of damage happening.
Oh, uh, which means that when, when we go to work this field up here, we'll probably have to get the rock picker out here and start picking some rocks again. Unfortunately, time we plow the field, we're going to end up with more rocks here as well. I guess that means we'll be breaking out the OP at rock picker here again. Like I said, I want if I'm going to uh, continue to leave rocks turned on here for this series, we are definitely, definitely going to be using the OP rock picker. Not something I typically like to do. Evan. Again, I, I'm not much a one for the OP equipment. Other than, again, maybe auto load. I usually like to keep my equipment within the realm of realism, or preferably real, if you ask me. You know, again, sometimes brand-wise and stuff like that, maybe you don't necessarily have the correct brand and stuff like that available but as long as the equipment is within the realm of being real yeah rock picker definitely is not very very much is not uh with that being said we do have one rock picker here that is real um not sure how well it would work for most of the rocks uh that get picked up looks like it's a picker for most of the smaller rocks which i guess is technically what we see here most farmers to be honest would probably look at these and like you're picking those up. Okay, good for you. Most farmers probably have better things to do than picking up little rocks like this. I know the game calls them large rocks, but... As long as the uh, rock isn't causing any damage to the equipment or adversely affecting something in some way, most farmers probably aren't going to care. And again, like I said, these, these size rocks here are probably highly questionable as to how much damage they would actually... Now, if it actually went into the combine, it probably would not be good. Most combines have what's known as a rock trap right up underneath the uh, feeder house. I'd be basically right underneath the cab there. And there's usually some sort of beater bar or something like that uh, that is designed to push those rocks down into the rock trap uh, just above the feeder house. Or just uh, just before we go from the feeder house into the combine. For those of you who've ever seen any like the uh, combine carnage that happens uh, when stuff that shouldn't go into a combine, yeah, you get some pretty interesting uh, stuff that can happen there. Amazing the amount of damage that can happen real quick. Combines can usually uh, take quite a bit, but uh, especially when you start uh, throwing uh, like larger rocks and or steel at it, yeah, the, the combines don't do real well at uh, digesting larger rocks and or steel components. You know, a shank uh, falls off your uh, chisel plow in spring and you don't find it till uh, harvest time and the combine gobbles it up. It's usually never a good thing, everyone. Never a good thing. Start uh, punct uh, puncturing holes in the uh, side of the internals of your combine, uh, damaging the rotor, Damaging, I can't think of the name of them right off the top of my head here now. Uh, damaging the uh, the blocks that are on the rotor. Like I, said, I can't think of the name of those. Throw it down in the comments if you, <laughs> if you remember. Going out the back of the combine, definitely not a good thing there. And yeah, and unfortunately, I've been trying to uh, stop the combine before something like that actually like goes into the combine. That is pretty hard. I mean, unless you happen to like catch it, you know, out at the end of the header here, you know, before it actually like makes it into the combine, then you might have a chance maybe to stop the combine in time. But usually, pretty hard to stop the combine in time. You know, ideally, you just want to be watching out in front of the combine watching for any rocks and or other objects that might be out there that you don't want to ingest in the combine. 
Yeah, we are about full here, 86%. I think we're about halfway around the field here. Yeah, I would say if we make it to this corner, I'm going to work well over halfway around at the field. And we get to uh, what looks like the straight edges here. So like I was saying, we won't quite make it all the way around the field. I didn't think we would. We actually made it a little further than I thought we would here. And at least uh, looking at the yield map I've seen so far, looks like we're yielding pretty good. Nothing to uh, complain about there if you ask me. Also, I don't know about you folks, it's fun watching the header here on the front here. This, again, is the articulated header one. It's fun watching it flex and articulate to the uh, varying ground conditions. It's set up GPS, but by the time I get GPS set up, I'm going to probably pull. Once we uh, unload here, though, I'll probably set GPS up. There we go. And let's see if we can uh, sneak around the back side there. I think that'd be a lot quicker than trying to go all the way around this way. Must have opted to go with no tarp here on this uh, particular grain cart. I'm, I'm guessing this uh, grain cart here you know, probably has going here. I didn't realize that ditch was that much of a treacherous uh, spot to drive in. Uh, I'm guessing this grain cart here has probably the same option as our smaller 1100. I think it all comes as a pack if I remember correctly. Official farming simulator mod hub by the way. And let's see if it is. Oh, yeah. I think we can sneak through here. Ooh, watch it. Don't be driving on the crop now. Kind of the two uh, big things we're doing different here on this uh, Series F one uh, that I don't typically do is I have crop destruction turned on. And then also we're playing with rocks turned on as well. Uh, again, at least uh, outside of the first Series F one, I have not played with rocks since, I don't think. And... Even on the first series, I didn't play with crop destruction turned on. I mean, that's something I've turned off way back. Again, when it comes to using AI workers and stuff like that, crop destruction is not your friend. Not that crop destruction really ever is your friend per se, but yeah, when you're using AI workers, it's definitely not your friend. Okay, while we're on loan, let's get some uh, GPS set up here. And auto with. Line it up on the combine. And once we're unloaded, we'll be good to uh, go. While we're continuing to unload here, just a reminder, if you haven't already clicked the uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do so. Always very much appreciated. And, of course, uh, if you want to give the video a thumbs up there, also appreciated. And don't forget, to once you are subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications. That way you get notified of the latest, greatest Upper Mississippi River episode. Away we go again. Ah, feels good to have GPS on. Okay, let's head over to the uh, comments here. Ooh, I see we got a couple of good comments. Again, always enjoy reading all you folks' comments, so don't forget to leave a comment down below. Uh, Hetro is saying, I wonder if your duels on the John Deere R8, 8R, uh, is causing the problem with unloading the harvester, causing a collision. Um, no, because the uh, problem actually was with the 9RX, uh, the giant John Deere 9RX there. Um, that's actually what I had the problem with. Uh, the John Deere 8R came along later. So, yeah, once, uh, well, I think, I don't know, course play just wants to be closer. I'm not sure of one. And then what you said there, too, Hetro, is probably also true if I had the John Deere 8R. Uh, that does have dual, so that is actually wider than the 9RX. But even the 9RX had troubles, too. So 
anyway, Petro was also saying good video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Christopher was saying good video. Keep it up. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Norton was saying you should uh, set auto drive corner speed to 50% on the trucks. That should help the turns. Ooh, I'll have to try that. Uh, we'll maybe have to try that. See if we can uh, get course play to be, or not course play, auto drive to be a little bit better about driving those trucks. GPS around here. I'm pretty sure the side of the field is straight as well. At least it looks like it is anyway. And we should be able to make it all the way back to the other end here, I would think. Uh, Brian was saying, I hate to say it, but I think course play took 10 steps ahead here in Farming Simulator 22, but I think auto drive took 20 steps back in Farming Simulator 22. You know, Brian, I, I think, I don't know about 20 steps, maybe 10, but I'd, I'd have to agree with Brian here. Uh, again, for those of you who've watched my channel for any length of time, uh, especially going back to the Farming Simulator 19 days, um, once I started using auto drive, everyone, I like completely disowned course play outside of doing field work. Uh, that's something auto drive doesn't do. Auto drive does not do field work. Which is fine. Um, but yeah. Anything for uh, transporting, moving stuff around, transporting grain, unloading combines, grain cart. I pretty much completely went to auto drive. Auto drive did a far better job than course play did in 22. I mean, like night and day difference. I like course play. Again, in my opinion, everyone, course play was absolutely horrible, horrendous, terrible, garbage. Now. Uh, Farming Simulator 22 here, everyone. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe the course play developers were listening or something. I don't know, but uh, probably not. But uh, course play developers have definitely stepped up their game big time. Mind you, I do have like a, it'd be nice if course play would do this or that, but still, course play works, and course play works quite well. Uh, significantly better than it did in, uh, 20, uh, in Farming Simulator 19. Uh, I would say it even worked better than Auto Drive did in 19. Like, uh, again, very, very rarely do I have to fix course play when it comes to unloading combines here in 2201. Uh, I think we had, what, one incident there last episode, I think. Yeah, was it right at the beginning or something like that? Probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the fact that I restarted the game, everyone. If I had to restart the game, I bet you that incident wouldn't have happened. Uh, it was probably something with, like, first time start up there. And horse play got itself mixed up or something. I don't know. So, you know, again, I mean, if it wasn't for that, we probably could have harvested that entire field with the exception of the headland, which I kind of understand that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff around the outside edge of that field. You see all the poles there and horse plays trying to work around them. That, that's kind of one reason why I'm doing the headland here. Although with that being said, <laughs> I think there's actually room around this field. So maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. Go figure, I should have done the headland on that field, not this one. Whatever. But yeah, you know, excluding the headland, everyone, of course, they probably could have harvested that entire field without a problem. I don't know about you folks, I find that amazing. I mean, course play back in 19 could probably barely go 10 feet without causing a problem. Uh, Sean was saying, a great video as always. Uh, can you uh, give a mother bin a try as soon as possible? I see you're having problems with the trucks. I'm not sure what problems I'm having with the trucks, but okay. Uh, the trucks are working okay. Uh, the problem with it, I guess if you want to say there's a problem with the trucks now, the problem with the trucks is, uh, you know, I think I'm going to get a course like course loaded up here. Uh, problem with the trucks, I mean, is auto drive and the turns and stuff like that, which, yeah, uh, Mother Benz, don't think that's going to help with that. It does give a little bit extra space, I guess, technically, but... Okay, let's get a course play course going here. Just one combine, I figure, this time. Uh, number of headlands, let's bump that up to three. Again, just running one combine, so...
And if I'm going to run this on course play, we don't need to actually start at the first waypoint. We'll start at the nearest. Back it up here just a little bit. And then it should swing out into the next headland here. And with that, then I can get course play on the unloading. And then I'll just handle running the trucks. I'll just be a trucker again here. Okay, with that being said, I'm now. Thanks for watching. If you folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.